feel like everyone, at least once in their life, has had this moment in which they do something completely random, completely out of character. Dad, I'm just gonna do something different. I'm gonna break the daily routine. Well, my friends, that's what I did. And this is the story. So me and my friend are just hanging out playing video games, and I say, Dude, let's do something different today. And my friend just says, Yeah, sure, man. All right. Also, I should mention that he is a ginger. I don't know why that's relevant, I just thought I'd let you know. So, what do we do? We go outside! Just him. So we're walking around the neighborhood, super normal, super casual, and I'm just holding my iPad. Yeah, I know. Just walking around with an iPad. I really cherish the outdoors. I, I do. I do cherish the outdoors. Uh the reason why I was carrying it with me is because I just thought, you know what, maybe I can make some interesting vine. Yep, that wondrous six second video app. What, what was my idea, you ask? I decided it would be really smart to go into people's backyards and start dancing. I'm not even kidding. In fact, I have the vines with me. Here, here, let's show the clips right now. Welcome to the series where I dance in some random person's backyard. Boop, boop, bot, 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 boop, boop. Welcome back to the series where I go and dance in some random person's backyard. Of course, if you saw the title of the video, you probably figured out this is where trouble starts happening. After the first video, we're good. But then we did another one. I like to consider myself a pretty thoughtful person. But that day was not my day. Yes, I know that going into other people's backyards is considered trespassing. But for some reason, my, my brain just didn't think of that. It just didn't think of that. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. So about the time we start our second vine, we hear a car roll up to the house right next to us. And my friend just says, Dude, what are we going to do? I look at him straight in the eyes and I say, We gotta finish what we started. We gotta finish it! And so we did. Also, if you look at the second vine, you'll notice that we're dancing a lot faster than the first one. Just like that. So after we finish the second vine, my friend looks at me and says, Okay, what are we gonna do? And I start thinking, formulating a plan, and my brilliant idea is... to walk out as casually as possible without the guy thinking we're trying to break into the house. I'm not kidding. Looking back on it, it probably would have been smarter if I just waited with my friend? I don't know. So we walk out from the backyard, trying to look normal, which is especially hard to do when you're in panic mode. So the guy and the kids are getting out of the car, and then he just looks at me. And it was really awkward for a while. So then I just start talking to my friend. I can't believe they wouldn't leave the key out for us, man. I mean, seriously. They say they were going to leave the key out for us. And then the back door is locked too? Ah, I can't believe it. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. Totally. Though we were obviously not suspicious. The guy yells out to us and says, What are you kids doing? And so I casually turn to him and say, Ah, sir, do you know these people? Yeah. Well, that's great, that's great. You see, uh, we thought they were going to leave the key for us at the front door, but they didn't. Uh, we were just trying to get something from them. Do you even know these people, son? Of course, sir, of course, sir. We're just family friends. We're friends with their kids, and uh, we just, you know, decided that uh, we needed to get something, and they said they'd leave the key for us, but they didn't. The best part about it, though, was that his kids were huddled around him, and they looked super scared. I wish I could just call out to them and say no. No kids. I'm not a rabber. I'm not a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi. Anyways, I tried to end it as quickly as possible by saying, it, it, you know what, we'll just try to come by at a different time, but, but thank you, sir. Uh-huh. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> we just start walking casually away from the block, and then we round the corner and we just start bolting. We just start running. We're just like... <laughs> I just start screaming like Shia LaBeouf. I'm just like... Ah! Optimus! <laughs> Optimus! It was the closest call, I swear. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until then, see you later. Optimus!